Hello. My video today is to demonstrate uh, the Google Mail client that's built into the Android 2.1 operating system that's in the Nexus 1. Um, it's the same client that you'll find in any uh, Android handset. Um, I think it's been slightly improved in 2.1. And what I'm going to show you here is some of the integration uh, of, the hands of the mail system into the handset. So first of all, I'm just going to send myself an email, and that's on its way. Cool. Um, now, what the handset does, the Android handset does, it will sync up with Google Mail, calendars and contact. Oh, it's just done it, actually. So we can see we've got a new mail. We've had the notification, and in the notifications bar, uh, we've got a small uh, M uh, in the shape of an envelope for showing your mail arrived. Um, it doesn't always work that quick. It takes a few, so it can take up to a minute or so for it to come through. So as it's now appeared in the notifications bar, rather than launch the application, we'll go actually and have a look at the notification and see where it is. And there we have a test mail to my Nexus One sent uh, by me, and the time at the right hand side. So to go to that email, we just touch on the uh, status, and in it goes. Um, now you can actually see in this email there's a couple of links I've put in. The reason I put these links is to actually show you the uh, the integration. Uh, so if there's a URL in the email and there's a client that's capable of launching that uh, URL, uh, it will actually work. So I'll go from the bottom up. The first one is just an ordinary forum link, and if I just touch that, that'll automatically load the browser and take me off to the forum quick as you like. This is actually operating over the Wi-Fi, so the speed of actual operation over the internet is a little bit quicker. And to go back to my mail, I'll just press the back button, which always takes you back to the last thing you was doing, or the previous thing you was doing, should I say. Um, and we're back to my email. The, video, the uh, link slightly above it is a YouTube video link, so I'll, I'll just press that. And it gives, me, it gives me a choice. I can either launch this in the browser or in the built-in YouTube application. Now, I've just seen it launch into the browser, so I'm not going to use that. I'll go to the YouTube and uh, it should then launch the application and load the URL into it. And sure enough, there it is. I'll just turn this around before you can actually see it operate. And it's now gone onto YouTube, it's downloading. Okay, so you get the idea. And again, if I just press the back button, It'll take me back to the email that I've just been reading. This time it's put it into horizontal, uh, into um, landscape orientation because that's where I've got the handset. If I turn it back around, I am going to have to slightly tilt it to make it activate. It'll turn it back to portrait, which is what we've just been looking at. So, uh, that's pretty much that. The email application itself is pretty normal, as you'd expect to see. We're actually in the inbox at the moment. There's a star here, so I can just press and I can star the, uh, the email. So that'll add it into my starred. Uh, folder um, and uh, for quick access so you know you might sort of save it off for, for actioning later on or something like that I'll just unstar that um, and uh, we've got the usual reply reply to all the forward buttons and archive delete or older messages again in terms of those folders um, they call them labels uh, in uh, uh, just to confuse you and we've got change labels here so I press that button it gives me all the labels that are actually in there so we're in the inbox right now um, and these are all the other other labels that I've already got defined in there okay so that's the uh, Google Mail uh, application uh, as implemented in Android 2.1 on the Nexus uh, one handset I hope this short video has been of uh, some benefit to you if you're uh, either contemplating a Nexus one or, or an Android handset and if you've got any questions, just pop them up on the uh, uh, on the responses or comments tab in YouTube, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.